Hi, my name's Flossie and I live in this step van, my self-converted tiny home on wheels. Van life is full of the unexpected, but is van life really overrated? This reminds me of a quote I heard recently that said most people aren't in the present moment because they're unconsciously thinking that the next moment will probably be more important than the one that they're living right now. But then you end up missing your whole life. Don't let looking forward to the future create dissatisfaction right now. I hope it inspires you to say yes to something that you might not have otherwise. Hello everybody, it is an exciting day. The sun is out. Finally, I have solar power again. My panels are doing their job and keeping my battery all full up. I decided to get out and take advantage of the sunshine and take uh, a kayak out for a little paddle. So because I don't have a dive buddy, I have been not going into the ocean and going swimming as much because I like to be safe and safety requires numbers. But kayaking, I can do that by myself, no problem. I'm really excited about it. So hopefully I can find somewhere to park the van in the sunshine so it stays topped up. My fridge is running, the freezer is keeping my food frozen. It's gonna be fun, I'm excited. I have just parked and this is my view. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm gonna take a kayak out and go and paddle around that island right there. Ooh, I'm so excited. It looks really beautiful. I feel the pull to the ocean. I want to take a breath, taste the salt water on my tongue, smell the currents on the air, and see gliding fishes beneath the ripples. Drown me under your waves where I see a sky underwater. Help me escape in your lovely paradise. I'm stepping into the breakwater where the ocean meets the shore and your waves push me, clearing my mind into a peaceful sleep. Welcome to the ocean. Marina and I'm gonna go pedal around a little island and some inlets and some coves and it is so nice some float houses around here I have been on the phone to my best friend Amy on a video call and she lives in Australia it was her morning these buildings are float homes right here. Now I'm going around an island. Um, and it was so nice because this bay has community around it. There is internet or cell phone reception. And I had the most loveliest video call actually and took my friend with me and she is recovering from a giant knee knee surgery operation and is not able to get out into the outdoors and so it felt really nice for me to be able to take both her, myself and you to some really beautiful places outside. The sun has now gone behind that mountain. That beautiful Arbutus log. This is where we're at. <sighs> so calm and peaceful. I found the sunshine. And if you hadn't noticed, I have re-dyed my hair. Bring some fresher sunshine hair back into my life. Is van life overrated? Is living in a van all it's hyped up to be. Licorice root fern. 
Is van life overrated? Or what is it that's missing in your life right now? Is it realistic for us all to imagine ourselves in whatever adventures and beautiful places that we dream of? I'm staying in the sheltered part of this bay out of the way of the wind because the wind is nippy and while I have a towel and more warm clothes in my dry bag I was really warm from putting the kayak together this is an origami kayak by Oru'u Kayaks which is great for in the van because it folds down really small you can open it up and it doesn't take up a whole ton of space in my garage but yet I can still have a kayak without having to have one lugged around on the roof anyway the sun has kind of just gone down behind the mountain over there but it was beautiful and warm now it is getting a little cooler but this bay has got so many beautiful wooden boats in it and I really like wooden boats but I will have a boat of some sort preferably one that I can sleep on overnight as I go places because I have wanderers itch I love to get out and about but I'm going to show you a couple I just love boats with this hull shape but they are huge this one is pretty too but smaller I think a little older If I, in another life, decided I was going to be a pirate, I'd have a boat like this. It would be my dream. She's beautiful. Look at that boat. It's a little chimney too. Some barbecue on the back. New Zealand. Holy shit, this boat's come a long way. That's gorgeous. New Zealand's where I'm from, if you... This boat behind me has a little fire going and it smells good. It smells really, like, feels nostalgic. I don't know whether it's a coal fire smell or I don't know. I just, I think I have a crush on this boat. I think it's great. It's a bit rocky. I just want to get around this corner. Whoa! I am sideways to the waves. Not great. Is van life overrated? Well, it's more work than the internet makes it look. Or is it your dream or something that you're projecting your life onto. Overrated or is it a distraction from something currently not making you happy? Overrated or are you wanting to find community? Is van life overrated or what is it? Oh, what did he get? Bird flew off with something. Good morning everybody. As you can see I've received a giant piece of mail and I am quite excited about it. This is a gift from a patron of mine who has kindly this on for me to use and I feel really honored to be entrusted with such a beautiful gift oh so heavy
I really hope it is one that will work very well with Amanda's so that we can play together. I hope that gives you a hint of what it is. Wow. Oh my gosh, I think it's bigger. Thank you so much. This is a very kind gift and I'm very, very grateful. I feel very blessed to have the community and audience around me that is supporting me and sharing their love as much as I try to share my joy and excitement and zest for life and the adventures and ups and downs equally with you. So thank you. You've made a big difference to my life and I'm really grateful that we can continue this journey together. Hi everybody! As you know, I am a fan of octopus creatures. I'm an avid freediver and an octopus is one of my favorite creatures. I have references to the underwater world or sea life kind of everywhere on my, on my van, in my house, in my clothing. This is a kelp t-shirt. And uh, my dear friends, you can find them on Instagram at the Wandering Dragon Bus, were at IKEA recently and found this guy. He's so darn cute, a yellow octopus. I have three other octopus plushies. This one is my favorite now. I have been keeping an eye out for a bright yellow one for a while, and I'm stoked to have this guy. I think this one needs a name. It matches my life. Um, I am looking for names that start with O. So if you would like to help name this plushie my favorite right now, I would love your input. Please comment in the comments below any octopus names that you think could suit this guy. They could be non-binary. They could be, I don't know. So any gender of name would be great, so long as it starts with O. A big thank you for being here from this cute side-eye octopus. Thanks. And myself. <sighs> I'm in good spirits. The sun has been out. Yes, I'm having a ton of technology bumps. But your generosity and support and being here with me is just such a lifesaver. Sometimes it's really nice to remember that when things are difficult you're not in it by yourself. And while this video is going to be less exciting than some of my other ones because I'm letting, spending a lot of time working right now to pay for my misfortunes, <laughs> I'm enjoying myself and having little sunshine creatures and I dyed my hair again. I do need to cut it because it's a bit flat but help me name this guy. He's super cute. <sighs> okay bye! Just look at that.
Wow. Is van life overrated? Are you sure your dreams are yours and you know the reasons why you want it? Then find those things here right now. What a gorgeous sunset. Unfortunately, I was rushing a little bit to try and catch the drone and fly it and take some beautiful freaking sunset drone shots. <laughs> like there's trees everywhere. Crashed it into a tree, it came smashing down. changed the propeller blade blades but the frame of the drone is cracked so the gimbal is not quite registering everything else it looks like it could still fly so I need to try again but I was like I need to take some pictures of the sunset so now I'm calming down acknowledging that I might not get any <sighs> beautiful aerial footage because I think I've crashed the drone um, and I might have to send it in for repair. Me and Amanda are just really not having good luck with our technology right now. <sighs> First it was my hard drive. Now I panicked and... I mean, this is a sunset worth filming. It's gorgeous. How often do you get this kind of beautiful colored light show? And though I don't want you to give up on your dreams, I do want to share with you the beauty of appreciating the present moment that we're all in right now. And hopefully that will inspire you to say yes to something that you never thought was possible before. Bleary eyed morning flossy. I just got up. I haven't had breakfast yet. Done some outdoor chores. And now I'm starting to get my house warm. I run the heater overnight, part of the night, and then I actually turn it off and then the fire goes out and the heat, I mean, it's not that cold. It's probably like 10 degrees in here still, so. And I burnt a lot of cardboard yesterday, so I'm lots of ash. It's amazing what a tidy living space does to one's mental health. Planning, travel planning. I'm excited. And now breakfast. This week is one of the many, many weeks that normally you don't see that I really, truly have to remind myself that I'm playing the long game to work towards my dreams and goals. And I hope that you know what yours are. Join me in this wild adventure. We can inspire and encourage each other to keep going because it's totally going to be worth it, as well as enjoying the moments in between. It's pretty neat. Tidied up the van, done some house chores and some work, and it is now time to go to the post office. What was that? Oh, it's the thing with the van. Not always is everything perfectly secured. They always get things move around, moved around all the time. Anyway, post off is exciting. I'm posting the Octo hat. I have to post my drone back to get repaired. And I'm posting a gift to my sister who lives in New Zealand. 
I have made it to the town, the city, the small village, and I'm going to go in and post my package and pick up a couple of extra things for the van. I feel like I'm juggling a lot of balls right now. <laughs> Let's go do this and hopefully my new drone comes back soon. Okay, bye house. <sighs> It's a town's errand day for sure. I posted off Octo Hat. It's stuffed beautifully in a little box and is on its way to Alberti, Alberta Schooly Adventures. I hope you really enjoy it. Now I am going to go and get some lunch because I am hungry. Pick up a prescription and do some work. Yeah, I think that's the last of my errands. And later on this evening, I'll go to the grocery store, but I am itching to go to the beach because it's so beautiful. So let's get a move on, do those things, and then go to the beach. I have made it to the ocean. I'm very excited. However, we're still behind a little bit of a hill. So time to go for a little walk, I think, before the sun sets entirely behind. Well, we still have some sunshine coming in from out there. I was just thinking about being here and being here now and the week I've had and the things I'm excited about in the future. Was it the series of decisions that I made so many years ago that added up to being here? Was it saying this yes to new experiences? It's got a crow's nest. Or was it the consequence of dealing with a van that was falling apart and then moving into this one out of need and necessity. Right now I feel really present. Despite all of the thoughts and distractions and the winter depression, life is wild. Life is wild and I'm living it. It makes me think about a quote that I heard recently that said, most people aren't in the present moment because they're unconsciously thinking that the next moment will probably be more important than the one that they're living right now. But then you end up missing your whole life because it's never not right now. It's never not right now. I really feel that and I hope you do too. I hope you are able to find ways to be in yourself and be present and find ways of while continuously working towards your goals or looking forward to what's coming next, appreciating the slow moments, the moments that you are not quite satisfied but like a little bit anyway or finding things that you like in them anyway. I hope it inspires you to say yes to something that you might not have otherwise because it might lead you somewhere that you never thought that you would end up like me and who knows where I'm gonna end up for the rest of this year I think this year is gonna be a little wild actually <laughs> a little more wild I've said yes to a lot of things lately 
And now it is preparation time to stop making them happen. While still focusing on my dreams for the future. And I really appreciate today's reminder of life to be like, don't let looking forward to the future create dissatisfaction right now. Like, that's a really big deal. getting a little chilly I think I want to turn the heater on but unfortunately my heater exhaust pipe had a little altercation with a hedge so I have to go fix it let me show you Ooh, what's that something's in there do you see that oh otters My poor exhaust pipe and a little altercation with a plant. I'm hoping about to fix it like this. At least this is not technology. Me and technology. The other thing I wanted to share with you is I have been doing a little bit of baking off camera because I don't feel like quite filming every single second but I thought you'd show you the end result hopefully not tipping it on the floor uh, this is my mother's recipe for a pumpkin meringue pie it does not require baking which is excellent for those of us who live in vans and don't have ovens beautiful fluffy soft pie filling and it is like pumpkin spice or cardamom or whatever warm winter flavoring you desire and it is really delicious so I've actually made two of these um, and I'm going to go gift this one to somebody who lives close by here because it's quite sweet there's some sugar involved sugar I'm gonna put the recipe to this pumpkin pie my mom's pumpkin pie recipe I'm gonna put the recipe in my patreon account for anyone who wants to take a look it is really tasty doesn't require baking um, and if you want to you could um, creme brulee the top of the um, meringue once you've mixed it all in thank you so much for being here with me on this philosophical rambling hopefully I will have my hard drive back soon and I'll be able to share with you the video of Amanda and I's recent adventure if you haven't already it means a lot to me if you would hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, leave a comment. I look forward to interacting with you every week. Y'all mean so much to me. See you next week. See you later. Bye.